Hi friends, welcome to our channel. Today I discuss about the topic of genome organization. First we see what is genome. Genome is a complete set of DNA such that an organism's complete set of DNA is called its genome. Virtually every single cell in the body contains a complete copy of the approximately 3 billion DNA base pairs or letters that make up the human genome. The total amount of genetic material stored as a DNA. This is the genome definition. Next we see why genome is important. The genome is important for creating and maintaining the life as well as the instruction for reproduction. A genome is an organism's complete set of genetic information. A genome includes all of the hereditary instruction for creating and maintaining life as well as instruction for reproduction. The human genome like all other cellular life forms consist of DNA and includes both the nuclear and mitochondrial DNA. Next we see the some categories in genomes. First one nuclear genome. The nuclear genome refers to the DNA in the chromosomes contained in the nucleus in case of humans the DNA in the 46 chromosome in humans the DNA in the 46 chromosomes it is a nuclear genome that defines a multicellular organism nuclear genome is a multicellular organism it will be the same for all cells of the organism you can have organelle genome as well as such as the mitochondrial genome when you want to identify or distinguish one organism from another such as in forensic testing you investigate the genome this is the nuclear genome nuclear genome is more important for uh, distinguish and identify one organism from another organism this is the importance of nuclear genome next we see the transcriptome transcriptome is a total amount of genetic information which has been transcribed by the cell the formation the information will be stored as rna the information will be stored as rna that tra this transcriptome is unique to a cell type and is a measure of the gene expression different cells within an organism will have different transcriptosomes cell types can be identified by their transcriptosome in this transcript transcriptome the most important thing is to identify the cell types in nuclear genome it is used to identify or distinguish the one organism to another organism in transcriptosome it to identify the cell types is the difference between nuclear genome and the transcriptome next we see the proteome the cells complete protein output this reflects all the mrna sequence translated by the cell Cell types have different proteomes and these can be used to identify a particular cell. In proteome, it uh, identifies the particular type of cells. Next we see the goals of human genome project. What are the goals in human genome project? First one, create genetic and physical map of the 22 autosomes and the X and Y chromosome. Identify the entire set of gene in DNA. Analyze genetic variation among humans. Identify single nucleotide polymer polymorphisms. Map and sequence the genome of model organisms. Example, bacteria, yeast, nematodes, fruit, flies, mice, etc. This is the goals of human genome project. Next we see the human gene insights. First one, average protein coding gene size is approximately 30,000 base pairs with 8.8 .8 exons separated by 7.8 introns. Note the largest gene in the dystrophin gene at approximately 2.4 million base pairs. Mutation in dystrophin cause muscular dystrophy. Chromosome X is the largest and has approximately 3,000 genes. Chromosome Y is the smallest and has fewest approximately 250 genes approximately 50 percent of human genes have no known function this is a human gene insects 
Next we see the number of genes in human genome. First, approximately 1 lakh to 1.5 lakh different proteins made by human cells. Complexity of human compared to other organism and the large number of proteins. The number of genes at least 1 lakh. Next we see the prokaryotic genomes. The prokaryotic genomes are generally circular chromosomes such as the double standard DNA. Next, usually without introns and relatively high gene density after an indigenous plasmid are present. The prokaryotic genomes are generally a circular double standard DNA. Next, we see the eukaryotic genomes. The eukaryotic genomes are located on several chromosomes, relatively low gene density. Human chromosomes vary in length over 25 fold range. Counter length of DNA from a human single cell is 2 meters. Next, we see the mitochondrial genome. Multiple identical circular genome. Mitochondrial genomes are multiple identical circular genomes. The size approximately 50 kb in animals, size approximately 20 kb to 2500 kb in plants. Over 95% of mitochondrial proteins are encoded in the nuclear genome. Next we see the chloroplast genome. The chloroplast genomes are multiple circular genomes, multiple circular molecules. The size range from 120 kb to 160 kb, similar to mitochondrial DNA. Many chloroplasts present in nucleus are encoded. Many, chloropla many chloroplast proteins are encoded in the nucleus. This is the chloroplast genome. Next, we see the viral genomes. The viral genomes include single standard RNA, double standard RNA, single standard DNA, and double standard DNA, then linear or circular molecules. These are the genome organization. Thank you.